We buy this Esquire here uh, with the uh, review of the Honor Challenge 2. Um, so everything is similar to the Honor, um, Honor Challenge 1. It looks a little different here. Um, I don't know what is causing me to say that, but I feel it looks a little different. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Everything is the same. Um, so you go about doing your regular uh, business here. Um, so let's before I look at the rewards. Um, you got the regular challenges. You have the elite challenges. Um, yeah, everything remains the same, which is good. 13 days uh, to get up to 30. Uh, looking at the rewards, um, the rewards have changed quite a bit. Uh, and what I mean by that, so you're going to see, first of all, you're going to get a lot of these Royal Knight Scrolls. Um, so anyone who went and paid a lot of money to get those Royal Knight weapons on their um, guards, as soon as they came out, you're going to be disappointed because a lot of these things will be coming out for free. Uh, and, you know, just you know, a lot of people who didn't go out and buy the Royal right away, uh, they're going to get some extra. Now, if you went and bought and you are the Royal Knight already, uh, you'll get extra scrolls so you can boost it up to the next level. Um, you know, but... You know, they, they trick everybody to rushing to the front of the line. And at the end of the day, that may not be the best thing to do. Um, so, looking at the rewards here. Uh, so, they give more keys um, throughout the rewards. Same thing. $5 for the honor pass. Uh, another $9, $10 for the bottom pass. Um, and what I'm liking uh, that I'm seeing is you get a ton of these little resource bags throughout. Um, and this is really going to help um, those of us who are upgrading. Uh, just look at uh, day 15. You get 100 of these bags. And that adds up quickly. You know, 100 times 250 of wood. You know, and food. You know, or food is less. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. So overall, uh, this is really going to help me, I think, get to my uh, C35 uh, by the end of this event. Um, other things they're doing, they're really up the badges, the amount of badges they're giving. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, this is a um, pretty similar, uh, but the way they're giving rewards are a little different. Um, and really... What they're doing is giving you weapons. Uh, try to give you the fragments for the weapons. All right. Uh, but the weapon, the means the weapons, the uh, the rewards themselves are pretty interesting. All right. So now let's look at the chest. Um, so the first thing is you're going to notice on the right this thing here. All right. So the more of the chest you open, uh, the more things you get. You know, these Royal Royal Knight accolades. Uh, so 40, uh, you get the this. Uh, 120, you get another 14. So like I say, over time, I probably would say you'll get at least one guard weapon from this. Uh, but in addition to getting the, um, the scrolls from the, uh, I guess, Honor Challenge itself, you also are able to get scrolls via the chest. Um, so it's going to add up pretty quickly. You're going to find yourself uh, ready to, to get a new weapon uh, probably within a uh, few rounds. All right, so in terms of the rewards, they pared it down quite a bit. Um, so basically what you'll be getting is either you'll be getting some gems, um, coat of arms, resources for equipment and then curiosities um i think i thought it last time it seemed to be a little bit more um, i think instead of resources for equipment you were able to actually get the piece of equipment which for me i liked it a lot better because you give me a piece uh, of some retribution gear i can get all of this and then some um, so they're just kind of changing it up a little bit on the way they're divvying everything out 
Uh, but overall, uh, I think that you know if you're upgrading your uh, equipment, uh, this is going to be a good good one for you. Uh, if you are you know working towards that um, that night, uh, I guess what is it called, Scarlet Knight, whatever the thing is, um, guard weapon. Uh, this is going to be good for you. And if you're upgrading, this is going to be great uh, for us uh, who are upgrading. Um, so, yes, this is my, my view. I think it's a great um, a great challenge. Uh, if you want to buy keys, so when you first go in, you're going to say, hey, here's you know, $9.99 for four keys. What you got to do is click the arrow on the left. And you'll see that you can buy 40 keys uh, for a dollar a piece. And before it bumps up to three keys, uh, 25 of those for $3. You know, so overall, this is a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I like the challenge. I think what you get out of it is a lot. If you haven't played it, you, you got to play it. Uh, and this is a cheaper, easier way to be competitive. Everyone, thank you very much for watching my videos. Please subscribe. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. We are very close. And uh, thank you.